Our Farm Basics segment on our show each week is really designed to answer some questions that we get from non-farmers on a regular basis because we do have a lot of non-farmers who watch the show and we want to kind of explain some of these farm terms and farm things that are happening. Well today the question is why do farmers want faster residue breakdown out in a field? All right, so as farmers go through and harvest their crop, the crop residue or the corn stalks or the wheat straw or soybean stubble, it's still left out in the field. So the grain has been taken away, the straw and residue is still out in the field. Well, for farmers, that can be an obstacle to getting good emergence of next year's crop. So all of a sudden, if you've got all these corn stalks out there and you've got tiny little soybean plants trying to find their way up through them, that can be a challenge. So most farmers want to find a way to get that residue to break down a little bit faster for that reason. But there's even more. This residue is filled with nutrients. Well, yeah, but uh, wait a second. Before we get to the nutrient thing, I want to go back to what Darren just said about any crop getting up through that residue. It starts with the planting. So when a farmer's trying to plant his seed in the ground and you find that, oh, there's all this residue out there, well, we have pretty good modern planters that a lot of times can cut the residue and break through that, but they're not perfect, especially when you consider that a lot of us as farmers, we're planting when the soil temp is 40 degrees, 45 degrees, it's cold out outside, it's damp, and things just don't cut very well when we have those kind of conditions. And we have a lot to do in a short amount of time. So we often talk about hairpinning residue where we aren't able to fully cut it. Now you place a seed on residue and it just doesn't grow. You have to have good seed to soil contact if you want a plant to grow. The other reason why it's so challenging with all that residue out there is the soil just doesn't warm up and a warmer soil means faster emergence. So those are the two factors to Darren's point about these plants trying to get up through the residue that's a big deal. Okay now I'll go back to the nutrients. Well the other thing is the plants need nutrients and so for farmers they look at their fields and say okay I know there are nutrients out there but I can't get them all into this next crop. So I have to add some more nutrition out there to feed this next crop. Well, some of the nutrients that are stuck out in your field in an unavailable form are in this residue. And if we could just get that residue to break down faster and release those nutrients, well, that would be wonderful. And that would really help us out. But here's the challenge. We need microbial activity to break down that residue and, and a lot more. We need some warmth and we need some moisture and all those kinds of things too. So yes, getting that residue to break down is a big deal and it can be really helpful for farmers to make that happen quicker. So over the years, farmers have used tillage to break the residue down, but a lot of people are trying to go away from tillage. So to speed residue breakdown without doing tillage people are using more nitrogen more sulfur out there to feed the soil microbes as they break down that residue there are also some biological products like we use a product called decomp on our farm to speed residue breakdown so there are a lot of ways that farmers are doing this but again it is really important so a farmer can plant better have warmer soil and then release those nutrients a little bit faster for the next crop well there are a lot of things going on out in fields that farmers are trying to control. One of those things is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 